Hey guys, it's Gio. I am in historic and beautiful Habitat Grace, Maryland, and we are here at the Wet Spot in Habitat Grace with the owner. Did I just say Wet Spot? Well, it could be wet, but I'm not going to get that. <laughs> wow, okay. So we are live local in Wetmaking. This is Gio. We are at Water Street Seafood here. The Wet Spot's over there. Yeah, the Wet Spot's over there. Go ahead and take a look out there. So, all right, so I just totally threw you on the spot there. So, we came out here because uh, Teresa's been following the page. We wanted to check this place out. Uh, I'm going to tell you full disclosure, uh, I had hush puppies on the plate, the crab hush puppies. I demolished them. Uh, I got my man Jimmy uh, on the camera behind us. Uh, Teresa, what was this? Was a uh, crab fondue? Crab fondue. Um, we do it in a bread bowl. Um, it's absolutely fabulous. It's a great thing to share. Um, the table looks like you guys definitely shared it. Comes yeah. with some um, pretzel bites. That's a, that's a fun one. So when we opened up, um, it's funny with my husband and my food purveyor. A lot of people have crab dip on their menu. I was kind of a whiny baby and was like, we have crab dip. Everybody has crab dip. You know, like our way crab dip because it's simple. So um, but then we came up with something a little different, doing the fondue, um, and that's been an incredible hit. Yes. So highly recommend the crab hush puppies. That's Geo's starter favorite. Uh, Jimmy really loved the crab fondue. Now, Teresa, one of the things we like to do here on WBL is introduce people to the owner. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Because you had another business elsewhere before you came here. But tell us about you, your husband, and uh, Okay, so um, it goes way back, actually, if you wanted to. Um, I opened up Sweet Devotion Cupcakes and Crepes in Habit of Grace. That you was probably about so 13 hear. years ago. Um, and we were out on Route 40 with that. I had a big following from APG. Um, I got asked to come out to Aberdeen Improving Ground. Was in that Aberdeen for forever six years for the deli, the lunchbox deli and treats. Um, that was an amazing experience. Um, I'd still be there today if it wasn't for COVID. So unfortunately COVID um, killed my business because all of the DOD contractors and workers went to telework. But during that time, weren't you donating lunches and stuff like that? I did. Yeah. That was the feeling our hero. So when COVID began in March and people started working from home, I was trying to find a way to keep the business open because of course at that time we had no idea this was going to last for two years and that we were going to get one. Um, so my customers wanted to buy gift certificates and the problem with doing that is let's say you have 18,000 people buy gift certificates and that's great now and we need the money now but then when they come back in and turn those gift certificates in that's like giving away free food. You don't have the money to replenish. So we came up with the idea of the Feeding Our Heroes and to them a lot, I mean that I'm actually ended up doing about $30,000 in um, sales for those lunches um, in a couple months time period. So the workers on Aberdeen Proving Ground, and then we extended it off of Aberdeen Proving Ground, uh, Proving Ground folks could um, donate a lunch. And so they donated one of our $10 box lunches. And for every lunch donated, we took them to various hospitals from Baltimore to Delaware. Right. So we would do 100 at a time and uh, deliver them during COVID. And that was very well received. I love that. Uh, I was watching that unfold, and I thought that was fantastic. So that uh, it was at lunch, Lunches for Heroes. What was it? Lunchbox for Heroes? Um, feeding our Heroes. Feeding the Heroes. So uh, today, now here we are at Water Street Seafood in Habitat Grace. I love the waterfront. Habitat Grace is beautiful. Uh, this place is definitely a hidden gem. I have this little thing called Harford Hidden Gems. This is this is a hidden one. This is a hidden one. Um, there's a beautiful deck outside that overlooks the water out to the side. You can take a look. These are the jumbo lump, uh, or jumbo lump. Jumbo crabs. Jumbo crabs. Which is where your jumbo lump crab meat would come right. across. So these are impressive. I mean, look, just check these bad boys out here. Like that is, that's nice, like, right there, you know. Um, and Maryland size matters. Yes, and Maryland size does matter, you know. <laughs> so, um, so, tell, so, by the way, the menu here is, is it's so good it's difficult to choose what um, to choose and I noticed on your menu and I'll have to share some pictures of this um, this is Mel over here by the way Look, you know you know what's cool about Mel say hi Mel say hi Mel people know you 
A lot of people know Mel. So, so Mel is a hidden, well not a hidden term, everybody knows Mel. So Mel is probably one of the most known servers in Habit Area. She's been doing this uh, her entire life. She's been a server and bartender all throughout Habit Area. She's with Grill, Coakley's, um, she's with us. She actually worked for me some time at the lunchbox, so she's a popular girl. That's awesome. A lot of people know her. Yeah, and another thing I love about this whole place, it's got a very family vibe. So like, you know, uh, Adam is our server tonight. We've got Adam's favorite. So Adam's favorite is a grilled or blackened filet medallion and a five ounce lump crab cake. Uh, I ordered that and Jimmy ordered that too. There's the salt wife pasta, uh, which is a crowd favorite. But everything's got a family vibe. The, the servers have their favorites on their menus. The crowds have their favorite on the menu. Um, so many good things. And what's your favorite again? My yeah. favorite is the Chipino, Water Street Chipino. Water Street Chipino. What is the Chipino? Uh, Chipino is a seafood stew. Um, a various different seafoods in there. Um, I particularly like it because I try to avoid carbs. Um, you can always add linguine to it, but it's a big bowl of goodness. I'm a big seafood fan, and it comes in a uh, aromatic tomato broth, so it's very filling without having any kind of carbs or starches with it. So, um, tell me about your your customer base here. Are, are they from Habit of Grace? Are they from all over the place? Uh, what's the vibe here? Uh, well, so well, you kind of asked two questions. So I the did. vibe. Um, so, if we want to talk about our vibe, I don't know if you can kind of shoot around yeah, and get ahead, the give mural. Me a little look. Um, I'm a beach girl, absolutely love the beach. Um, spent all of my so as you can see, there's a nice beachy vibe. So yeah, so I spent all of my high school summers in Sarasota, Florida, um, and my grandmother lived down there, and I worked there for the summer. Um, I absolutely, my girlfriend has a house in Rehoboth. I love to go to the beach. So I just figured if I couldn't live there right now, I was going to make my workplace look like it, um, and that is exactly what the vibe is here. Um, when customers come here, we have tropical music playing, we have Jimmy Buffett playing. I want the vibe to be, you had a really rough day at work, you had a long week at work, you should come here and feel like you're on vacation. You feel like you're sitting at a restaurant that you would be at, you know, a coastal area. Um, we've got the Maryland, you know, we're, Maryland map is what we do. Um, a lot of my things on the menu, if you'll notice, there are, there are gator bites, um, conch fritters, um, octopus carpaccio. Um, there's some Florida, you know, hints there, you know, that, that's yeah. something there. So we, I really tried to create a menu that was very different um, than what other restaurants around here have. Um, of course, you've got to have your Maryland crab soup. Uh, we do have our award-winning cream of crab, I will say that. So there was I, a, I'll take a cup of cream of crab uh, soup. There was a, you know, <laughs> Happy Grace does do um, a, you know, a contest um, every year on the cream of crab, and um, we won this past year, being our first year. Congratulations. Open. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank cream you. of crab of the year. I'm going to have some after this. Um, so, yeah, so it's just, it's a beach vibe. Um, we, my girls um, often wear a flamingo shirts, tropical shirts. Um, the deck is painted really Jim, bright Jimmy Buffett yeah. color, you know, color. First thing I said when I walked in, yeah. very beachy. Very yeah. beachy. Love it, yeah. Yes, yeah. so that's, nice. that's exactly it. I just, you know, I mean, everybody leads stressful lives, and if I can just bring a little bit of, I mean, everybody seems happy at the beach. You know, like people that love to go to the beach, it's relaxing, it's calming, it's fun. Um, we just have a lot of different things that go on here that the customer may not recognize, you know, but it's my goal that they leave and go, oh my gosh, that was amazing, you know, or I feel good. And it might just be subconsciously the music playing in the background. Um, the clothes that the servers are wearing, um, you know, just that's really, I mean, I'm in my goal. So, this is admittedly my first time here. Um, I am happy we found this place. Now, you said that you lived in Florida, you like to bring all these different things. Like, when I saw conch fritters on the menu, I was like, rock on, way to go. Um, your husband works in the kitchen. Is my husband is the executive chef. Executive chef. Um, he's been around, and he was executive chef of Tywood Grill for eight and a half years with the uh, original owner, the gentleman who opened Tywood Grill um, a few, you know, well, probably 18 years, you know, or more ago. Um, he was at um, Fusion Grill, so that restaurant is no longer around, but that was in Austin. He opened up Anotria with Carlo Fortunato. He was Carlo's first chef. 
Um, so he's been doing this for a long time, and um, he was not very thrilled about opening. Um, he didn't want to open this. Um, it's a lot of work. Running yeah, a restaurant is a, it is. This he's is probably one of the toughest industries. Yeah, he, he had had his day, um, but when the deli shut down on Avenue for I, you know, I had to do something. And I always he's actually have a degree in teaching, so I used to okay. teach um, elementary school. But that, shout out to the teachers, by the way. Another difficult job. Um, you know, but that was a long time ago. But um, I just I knew this would work. Um, and I mean, I don't want to sound corny, but I always say, like, I mean, I moved forward kind of without his blessing. Um, but he's well, here. Ask for forgiveness, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Um, but he's here. He's our executive chef, and he just I, I knew he wouldn't let things fail. And, and he's he's a fun, he's, he's very humble. What's his name? Um, ready. Ready. Are you sure? I'm ready. Are you humble? Yeah. Sure. Dord? D-O-R-D is how Dord. you say it. Dord. Um, so, spelled differently, but think Dord. All right. That's why I asked you if you were ready. We got so, some more dishes to lay oh, down Jesus, here. Oh, Jesus. He's, like, okay. he's like Ikea furniture. All right. <laughs> let's let's, let's move some Adam stuff. Adam here, you know, right there. Hey, Adam. Howdy. 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 Salt life pasta. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ah. I'm sorry. Salt life pasta. I don't want to drop it, but that looks damn good right there. This. So tell me about salt life pasta. Um, it's Obey Alfredo. Um, so just a different rendition on a seafood pasta. Um, Crab, scallops, and shrimp. Crab, scallops, and shrimp with Old Bay Alfredo. That's probably one of... You think our most popular? Yeah, definitely our most popular. And now... Um, oh, you got Adam's favorite. Bay and beef. Yeah, Filet actually blackened. Yeah. Crab cake just falls apart with the fresh veggies and rice tea ball. Nice. So that's Adam's favorite. He's he's actually got his name on the menu. That's what I love about this place. Another cool thing about their menu is the kitchen look. Tell them about the kitchen look. Uh, uh, we I love like our this. kitchen. So... Um, we have a bell that sits outside of our kitchen, and we have, what does it say there? Um, love your meal, give the kitchen bell a ring, really loved your meal, leave a few shekels in the kitchen bin and hear them sing. It's not really, but it rhymes. <laughs> so we just, again, it's that family atmosphere that I try to create here um, a lot of times. The kitchen really is what makes this happen. And yes, the servers do, but without phenomenal food, the whole experience is lost. So we just try to really give appreciation to our kitchen staff as well. And we just ask the customer, and we have people do it all the time, that you're going to ring the bell and let them know you enjoyed your meal. I can tell you this. We will be ringing the bell here at Seafood Water Street. Water Street. Water Street. Water Street. Oh my God, Seafood on the mind. Yeah, no, no. Water Street Seafood. Wet spot. Right. Water. Right. Water. Right. Come on. Water okay. Get it. Get it straight. It's all the same, right? Just look up. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, Jimmy, hand me the camera. There you go. Okay. Here we go. Right. Water Street Seafood. Water Street. There you go. Zoom in on that. All right. Awesome. Go back to the there, there, there's a view. So, but there's going to be more to come. We're going to uh, share lots of photos uh, of our meal here because there's a lot of food to eat. Um, Teresa, thank you for having us here. Um, we look forward to sharing the rest of our experience with our viewers here at W Bel Air TV. Uh, so for W Bel Air TV and Water Street Seafood, this is Gio and Teresa. Teresa, the owner. Thank you. Uh, have a good one. Yeah.